Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we are continuing with our topic one, factors of production. In particular, analysis of the factors of production and their remuneration. In today's lesson, we're going to turn into analyzing capital as a factor of production. What we're going to be focusing on as required by the examination guideline and the grade 11 annual teaching plan or ATP is for you firstly to know the definition of capital and secondly we're going to look into the characteristics of capital thirdly we're going to look into the importance of capital and we're also going to look into detail remuneration of capital as a factor of production are we still together right guys so in order to master this topic of capital that falls under the factors of production for the purposes of your examination or any form of formal or informal assessment as per the examination guideline at the end of this lesson you must be able to one briefly describe and explain the relevant concepts that relates to capital as a factor of production Two, you must be able to distinguish between money and real capital, meaning we have two categories or forms of capital in the economy. It's money capital and real capital. You must be able to distinguish and draw the line between the two. Thirdly, you must be able to discuss the characteristics of capital in detail. And fourthly, you must be able to discuss the functions of capital as a factor of production and fifthly, you must be able to discuss the importance of capital in the economy as a factor of production. And lastly, you must be able to discuss the remuneration of capital in the economy as a factor of production. Remember that the questions that requires you to discuss may appear as long order long order questions or the high order questions that requires a depth discussion there may be an additional part for 10 marks in an ac question or there may be an eight mark questions in section b so it's very important for you to be able to to discuss what needs to be discussed relating to the topic that we are dealing with so i hope you are ready you have your pens you have your pencils and your notepads ready for us to start with the lesson on capital as a factor of production with main focus being on analysis and remuneration of that particular factor of production are you ready <laughs> 